to try a circuit today. It's a receive amplifier using an FET, a 2SK192A. It's a uh, low frequency preamplifier that I picked up online from a Japanese site and uh, runs between 5 and 12 volts apparently. So this is a little circuit I'm going to try building right now. And this is the uh, box that I'm going to put it in. Like so. Mints. I already got two BNC connectors mounted on top, as well as an RCA jack on the side. The RCA jack is going to be for power. And the two antenna connectors will self exploratory in and out. So I've got them all soldered up. So they won't uh, won't come loose. They won't back off. You've got a common ground connection there between them, as well as the cabinet, of course. And uh, right here, so I'm going to be putting another wire between the top of here and on the inside of the cabinet, so we can keep a keep a ground connection between the two. But uh, that's the. Uh, I'm going to build the preamp before inside that. And I'm going to try it with the uh, AR8600, which she's uh, built. Gotta like it. Anyways, I'll keep you updated with the uh, progress of the preamp before as uh, we continue on. I've got little perf boards here that I picked up off eBay. And I'm going to be cutting this one down to uh, fit inside this inside this little cabinet. So two full lines down. Probably only going to need one one block because <laughs> uh, it is a fairly small circuit. So, anyways, I shall keep you updated into the progress of the receive preamplifier. All right, guys. Take. Take it easy. Alright guys, I'm going to do some testing of the preamp before I right now. And uh, it's only connected to the rod antenna. This to the back of the radio. There's nothing else connected in between. There's nothing on the whip. No alligator clips, no wire, no nothing. So, that's 12 volt. As you can see there now on the meter, there's nothing. You can hear a little bit of signal through the whip. It's only a short whip. So now we want to plug 12 volt into the amplifier. Just plugged in. As you can see, there's now an S reading there. I'll unplug it again. Watch the S meter reading. Nothing. So the preamp is working. Yes, it's 12 volt on and the negative, 12 volt negative not connected, just 12 volt positive. Now we put it all the way in. Nothing. 
very low. You know it's there. I just heard it. Connect power again. Throw an antenna up to it. Disconnect power. These are the two alligator clips coming off my antenna. Green is ground, red is uh, center. And I'll put the red on the whip. Cramp is more sensitive to low signal input. Has a reduced shorter antenna. This cramp seems to work better with a uh, shorter antenna. Okay, we'll see the size. So, put power on again. Power's off. Disconnect power again. There you have it. We'll connect again in a second as soon as you come back. There you have it. The preamp. It's not a very high gain uh, preamp. It appears to want to work with a uh, lower or low signal input and amplifier, it. and uh, it doesn't work on VHF or UHF. It's definitely a low frequency, as in uh, 30 megahertz and lower. So it was basically shortwave for sure. <laughs> and there we have it. The preamp actually works. And as you can see, that is the antenna I'm using. As you can tell if I touch it. There we have it. Anyway guys. 
Thanks for watching. And as the old saying goes, what do you build at your junk box today? This is another video I'm going to uh, record. Right now, as you can tell, I'm on 12.7. So I'll put my 706 on 12.7. That's what you should be hearing. Well, that's no ain't easy. Alright? So, you can just barely hear it there in the background. So, I'll turn the preamp on. So you can see for yourself the uh, preamp is indeed working. Off. 